Hello, thanks for joining me for another video. There seems to be some confusion around how the weather seal works on the Hikvision cameras when you plug in the RJ45 connector. The Hikvision cameras come with a sack with the grommet or the weather seal or the coupler. It can be called several different things, but uh, I'm going to show you today how that will fit on and, um, and how that works. To use that coupler or grommet correctly, your RJ45 connector cannot be terminated. So this means there cannot be a plug or a male RJ45 connector on the end of your Cat5 or Cat6 cable. I have the equipment and the tools here to connect one of those, but it has to be done after the coupler is attached. So the red cable I'll be using today represents your in-house wiring where, or in-store wiring uh, where the camera will be plugged in. I'm going to prepare it here for the male RJ45 connector by trimming away some of the outer cable, outer shield and uh, exposing the twisted pairs inside. I'll take the parts out of the bag here so you can get a closer look at exactly what we have. So there's a, a rubber washer um, and a couple of other parts, an RJ45 housing, an end cap, and a rubber grommet for inside the housing. So first of all, take the end cap and put that on over your Cat5 or Cat6 cable. Next you want to take this larger piece of rubber seal here, rubber grommet, and you can only really fit in one way correctly, so just make sure you put those together properly. and then fit that on over the, uh, the cable. I'm just going to screw this end cap on just to help keep it in place because that will make the rubber tight inside and then it will be sliding back and forth and getting in the way. So next I'm going to attach the uh, male RJ45 connector. Now that I got the wires lined up and straightened, they just need to be trimmed so that they are even. So I'll put those together and give them a snip here with the crimper. Okay, it looks good, nice and even. So I'll slide those into the RJ45 male connector and crimp it together so that it stays put. So now that the cable is terminated, it uh, needs to just be plugged in, but first make sure you put the washer on over the female connector, and this will help make a tight seal there. So plug in the cable, the RJ45, and then you can slide the end over the other piece and then give it a twist and it will snap into place. So once that's in place you can tighten the end cap and that will make the rubber seal go tight around the cable. And there you have it. It's connected and weather sealed. I hope you found this video helpful. Please feel free to check out my other videos on YouTube and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.